from solar panels to charging stations for electric vehicles. These are examples of how 5G and cloud platforms can provide electricity at low cost, benefiting both users and the environment. And that's what's happening in the Wenzhou city of Yueqing, all part of a 320 million US dollar project by local company Chind. 37 years ago, Chind was a small factory making electric switches. Now, it's the nation's biggest supplier of rooftop solar panels. Developing clean and safe energy systems is very difficult and requires collaboration across multiple fields. Improving the energy and product structures is key. In this industrial and incubation park, we want to showcase leading companies in the energy supply chain to demonstrate our vision for an energy ecosystem. And part of that means building smart grids, hybrid systems that integrate wind, solar and thermal power to provide a continuous supply of electricity. The systems can be digitally controlled via cloud computing to reduce energy waste. Another example of a compact solution sits right outside the industrial park. Of all the cool gadgets that make our city smart, streetlights have a lot of potential. Here in Wenzhou, these humble lampposts are fitted with high-tech sensors and cameras and LED screens. They can monitor traffic, track air quality, and provide Wi-Fi, to name just a few of the many installed applications. The bigger poles are 19 meters tall, meaning they can double as landing pads for drones. The drones are deployed routinely to check road conditions and can help with emergency and disaster response by taking aerial images. China says their technologies have been exported to 140 countries, with products ranging from power sockets to smart home appliances and solar farms. When we do business with the world, we work hard and adapt well. For example, we were tasked to install electricity for a makeshift hospital in Egypt when COVID-19 broke the global supply chain. But we were able to finish the job in 10 days. Yueqing is dubbed China's electrical town for its expertise in making equipments for power-related infrastructure, home appliances and telecommunications. Officials say the sector remains robust despite external shocks, such as international trade tensions and rising costs of raw material. Yueqing doesn't have obvious geographical advantages, so the government has gone to great lengths to curate resources, including land, money and manpower. We've transformed old factories to make more space, creating special industry funds and offering housing and schooling benefits for skilled workers and their children. Still, labor shortages remain a problem, with skilled talent gravitating toward the provincial capital Hangzhou and the southern tech hub of Shenzhen. Officials hope policy incentives that focus on high-tech innovation and new incubators led by major companies will be the key to unlocking the town's future. On Face CGTN, Wenzhou Yueqing in Zhejiang Province.